Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Michael Speckard, and today I wanted to take a look at the 2.5 inch grip clamp from Kupo. I own several of these lightweight aluminum stands for a variety of things. Mostly my lights, uh, Nanlite 4 is a 500, Aperture 300D, Godox 300 VLs. A lot of those mono style lights that take Bowen style modifiers are perfect on these stands. They have legs that spread out wide, so they actually take the balance really well. I have no problem sandbagging them. I can get away with them in most situations, and I don't have to have a heavier steel stand like this American Grip C stand. American have a center pin that guides right directly into the center of this baby pin. Perfect. Well, Kubo has a center pin as well, but they added a lower pin, which is the perfect height to mate on stands that need to sit lower, like these, these lightweight aluminum stands, because these lightweight aluminum stands uh, are using these baby pin quarter 20 3 8 combination adapter pins. I needed a solution that's secure that will work with these stands. So I'm definitely gonna be buying more of these. I'm very happy with them. And anybody that's in my situation, I'd highly recommend them. The Kupo has another adaptation. It has uh, four different sized slotted holes. The Kupo, of course, has the baby pin size hole to it. It also has a hole to accommodate the, the boom pole holder. I have some cheap photography umbrellas and actually it's got the perfect size hole for even these small umbrella arms. Right, of course I could, you know, I could find a way to rig it in here and damage the umbrella holder, but it's really nice to have that option here. The feel is, is really good. It's very fun to just kind of sit and spin open, spin closed, it, it, it works very well. I love American Grip, uh, they are the standard because of the all steel construction. And then you have something like Kupo where they come in a little bit lower price point. I think it's a composite of aluminum and steel. So it's certainly very, very sturdy on their grip heads. Knowing that this isn't solid steel and this is, I bet this would stand up to drops and spills a little bit more than the Kupo would, but I certainly would trust putting uh, a large amount of uh, weight. You know, this is probably the most common configuration. Uh, just trying to get an arm boomed out with something on it. I think last I checked, we were around $32 for the American. The Kupo comes in right around $28. There are teeth on the inside of the clamp. We also have teeth here that clamp onto the aluminum plate. There are no teeth on the inside. I'm not sure what this plate is made of, but it's made of a different material. Having no grooves on the inside could be a benefit if you're trying to clamp something without damaging it. Really, that's all I have to say about it. I'm, I'm looking forward to buying some more. Hopefully this helped you today with your purchasing decisions, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.